Captain's Log, Monday, January 14th, 2011. It's snow melt day. All the snow is melting. It's like 40 degrees. And after snowpocalypse of just a week or so ago, it's kind of epic. And we have, we have some interesting leaks happening. So Dave and I are going to wander around. And this will give you guys a look at what's going on around the lab. You'll get to see some of the updates. And yeah, so here's what's up. Oh, first thing, one of the newer toys that just came in. I got this at uh, the industrial surplus place couple weeks ago. This is the new ground target for those two Tesla coils you see back there. And uh, here you can see how tall it is. It's going to be quite the fabulous grounding target. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now we've got, here's roof leak number one. Fill me in Dave. We got a leak here. Coming into the ceiling. Um, I was praying and hoping that it was our ventilation system that's just kind of open, but we actually have cracks in the ceiling that are dumping water. Okay, so it's through a crack up there. Right, and it's been really slow, so, you know, not too bad. But okay, and it just got that wet and it's not going to hurt that. Um, that's a primary coil form, so it's okay. That's a secondary, so that it, there isn't enough water in the case to be a damage. It's just spattered the outside, so I'm not worried about it. Um, we should move these cases away from this, though. A right. Bit. And, yeah. But it's not a big deal. Look, high voltage ever starting. We got pigs in here. We got big Tesla coils. We got switch gear showing up. So we're starting to get stuff in here. Ruben's tube's here. It was actually too cold in here. We tried to fire this up the other day. It was actually too cold in here to fire it up because the propane in the tank would not come out of the tank. We couldn't get any vapor pressure. <laughs> it's that cold. And Quick's here. Loving that dog. How you doing, Quick? Oh, all right. You're sure vacuuming up there, water. snow out of the... Should we yeah. take a look up there in the mechanical room? That should be all right. It's not that bad at this point. All right. Let's take a look up here. Oh wow, yeah. We've got, we, we plugged up the vents for the most part. The back vent there's a little open. There's the vent up here, which is currently dripping. This is the old air intake. So we've got some dripping happening there. Nothing major though, but we're blasting hot air out the top pretty serious. Yeah, I turned off the heat so we weren't stuck in the Yeah, I noticed the, the furnace is off, so yeah. Here's upper mechanical. It's pretty emptied out. Digging that. All right, so we'll get that sealed up. This is last week of over the outside. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the uh, front lobby. You guys got to check this out. We've been making huge progress on the cafe. There's no roof leaks up here, but it's just cool because look at this. Look at, look at what we accomplished over the weekend. We have, I'll, I'll just, I'll go around the room. Here's the uh, teletype machine. This is going to be set up on Twitter. You'll be able to actually tweet from here and tweet to here. We have Lazarus is here now, which is a uh, big tape changing robot. Um, Doom chairs out. We've got over here, small demos are kind of in the way. They're going to be moving over here real soon. Behind them, you'll notice we have the big epic workbench. The old uh, AI bench has made it here. That moved in in one piece. It was not pleasant. We had to, go, we had to actually go around the block. But this will be here with a set of Linux workstations under them um, for public use. You guys can come down, get on the internet, do some fun hacking stuff if you want, because we have this right here. We're, we're going to stock this rack with things to hack. So it's a hacker-friendly cafe. It'll have its own tight little network where guys can come in, just hang out and tweak on hardware and have fun. We also have the pool table. Ta-da! It sucks so bad, but it's level, and it is a pool table for varying values of pool table um, to give you an idea of just how weedly and crappy this pool table is. I, I want you to watch this. This is one hand. I can pick the pool table up with one hand. Okay, yeah, it's like that. Um, but it's pool table, and we have long-awaited the ski ball machine is here. We have our own ski ball machine and it does indeed work here. I'll fire it up for you guys because I know everybody's been excited about this. See, we just, it was, it was so cold and so obnoxious around here and just bad and everybody was like bad mood. So I wanted to do some stuff to really improve staff morale and come on, man, it's made it happy. We got a ski ball machine. So, yeah. So, 
All right, what else we got? Should we get MDH or sound block? Uh, let's head up to the sound block first. Okay, okay we're heading out to the sound block. Epic. All right, here's the sound block, and uh, you'll notice we've got a lot more equipment starting to arrive, and I've uh, got my drums starting to come together a little bit. I just set them there just for something to do. They're, they're not actually put together yet, but it's starting. We've got, uh, now, for those that don't know, Photo Studio is Studio A, Audio Studio is Studio B, Visual Studio is Studio C, and then Girl Geeks is Studio D. So this is Studio C, which will be our visual production, and we've got it emptied out. we got to rip up the black crap off the floor. We're going to start painting and rocking out in there this week. Uh, by the end of this week, this room should be pretty much online, and we should be preliminary functional in there um, next week. So that'll be cool. Look at that. That's uh, how I spent a lot of the later part of last week and the weekend. We had a ton of people rocking out in here and made a big clean spot. See, this, this used to be rooms and stuff here, and now it's just big, clean, open space. So, no roof leaks here though, which is nice. Did you check in here? Yes. Okay, no roof leaks in here? Not a one. Okay, there's, there's enough light coming in from the overhead that you can actually see into Studio A right now, which is kind of neat. Uh, let's check up here. Dog's trying to kill me. That dog loves you. Come on, dog. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, we got a little roof leak here. Nothing major. I don't see. That's where that coil. Yeah. I can see daylight out there, dude. Yeah, I know. Okay. But this is all contractor stuff. This is, yeah, so I'm not worried about this. This is the one I have no idea where it's coming from. Over here? Yeah. I don't know. We got a lot of water on the floor. And it's not dripping. Maybe it was dripping and it stopped. Well, obviously. All right. We should probably try to remove as much snow off the roof as we can with, like, push brooms, um, being careful not to disturb the ballast rocks. Okay. But let's try and get a lot of the snow off the roof just over the side and because that's water that won't melt and come into the building. Okay. All right. So we got this. This is all stuff the HVAC guys are working on. And look, you can see down into the studios. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, shit. Yeah, I told you. Whoa. And it's under the floor, too. Oh, yeah. The, well, we've got a big airspace under the floor that's got, holy shit, Dave. That's a lot of water, man. Told you. That's, look, holes. Oh, man. Man-made holes. What the hell? That's from what the contractors just did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, we got to plug that. We're, we're heading to the roof today. So stay tuned for Moose Roof Patching video. Oh my God, look at that. Look at there's something over here. <laughs> oh, there's, there's something over here too. Yeah, but that's, yeah, that's, that's, nothing that's tiny. To that. See, that, that over there, that's a roof leak. This, this is monsoon season, man. Bloody hell. All right. Yep. That's a roof leak. Oh yeah. This is the fun that is my day. So, oh, other, other, some good news. We have stuff has arrived. Um, more equipment for visual production and just good things, science stuff. Got a big giant coffee maker donated by Casey. Look at that thing. That's a coffee maker. Oh yeah. So, just stuff, progress, things coming soon. You're going to see a fun, fun video involving those really soon. <clears throat> All right, so forgive the wind noise. It's a little bit rugged up here. Here's the, uh, that's unit, I don't know, two, I think there. That's the curb for it. And there's about three inches of standing water on the roof. Piles of stuff. And we're getting, here's a, the other unit. This is where the 12 and a half ton unit goes to heat the main demonstration hall. And you can see they left it's like a locating pipe or something in there. Here's the pipe. And it's just a hole right through the roof. Oh, and they did that so they can find out where this goes. And uh, it's leaking like hell. So we got 
there's two pipes here. The one that you see actually isn't leaking very much. There's one about eight inches over this way from it. We have to find that hole down in here, and that's, that's what we're working on. There we go. Star in a jar. Is the bottom one off to the side because it's got the core coming up through it? Yeah, because of where the electrode comes in. It's very much affected by the electrostatics of, you know, well, it's electrostatic confinement, so. Right. So, just bring it right up. down the bottom. It's it's running really high right now. It's beautiful. 